Good afternoon. Different location again. <laughs> Keep moving around. Um, welcome to episode, episode 866. The topic today is um, Ladies in Power, Are You Dating Powerless Men? This has been my pet peeve for a long time and it's the core of my work, so I wanted to talk a bit more blatantly and bluntly about this. But before I jump into all of that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I got this strap across my face. <laughs> this way, sorry. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. I'm also a coach women, or help women to create balance in love, life, and business, and I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work with women. And what started these talks over th- almost three years ago called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. Today we're episode number 866, and I'm out in the side. I hope you can hear me above all the background music that's playing. Um, Moves a bit higher, maybe a bit isolate me. So, um, the topic today. Um, hi, Neil. Nice to see you. By the way, can you hear me okay, or is the background noise too much? You can let me know if you're watching. Um, so, the topic today is about powerful women dating powerless men, because I've seen it too many times. And to be blunt, <laughs> I was one of those men. So, I know what it feels like to be on the receiving end. And this power struggle and this power difference is at the, the core of many different relationship challenges. It's also a reason why there's a lot of power struggles in relationship, like obviously so. So let me break this down. And by the way, the reason why it's so noisy here, this background noise, and you've got the stripe across my face, I'm actually out there for me up some bunch of my friends from Facebook Live in person. And I want to do a quick Facebook Live before I go back in and eat because there's food in there waiting for me. So this is a quick um, nudge, a quick, um, (laughs) let's say provocation. Let me start this way. So, the way the business world has shifted the last 20 years, or longer than that now, has been many women have been pushed, nudged, required to step up and be in the leadership and take charge in the world. It's what's changing the world now, which I'm grateful for and I love that. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying that women need to be less than, far from it. It's about how you change your, I don't want to say vibration is too weird a word. It's about when you change your focus, what you actually attract. Thanks for the love, I appreciate that. And what I'm very clear about is there are many, many women out there now who are taking charge in their lives and making things happen and getting things done and running their businesses, running companies, running governments even, where their relationship um, experiences are getting a bit challenging because the power they're putting out into their business is not being equaled, matched, reflected, supported, or served in their relationship. Hi Sandy, I haven't seen you for a long time. Um, by the way, can you let me know if you can hear me okay? Because I've got a lot of background noise going on. I want to make sure you can hear me okay. Because I didn't plan on having so much music playing in the background of my Facebook Live. Um, so, hi, Riz. Roxanne, I see my broadcast. I haven't seen you for a while in my broadcast, that is. Um, and again, if you, if you can put comments in there, let me know if you can see me okay. This is a Facebook Live, by the way, in case you're wondering if you're watching on YouTube where this came first. So, Many women I know, and I love these women, are strong, powerful, in their hearts, running their businesses and taking charge. But they seem to find themselves in a relationship with men who advocate their roles. And there's a few reasons for this. Part of it is because, frankly, I, well, let me, let me frame it this way. Ladies, if you're, running, if you're in your power and you're running in your masculine because you're getting things done, make things happen, you may be finding yourself meeting one of three different types of men. There's the man who basically is going to try and compete with you and knock you down and take charge and bully you to be big, bigger than you because that's his style. Secondly, or the second type, is a man who's going to acquiesce to whatever you need because you're still in your power. Thirdly, you'll be with a man who basically um, will try to, will, will well, I'm trying to cover both the other two. Let me, let me back up and say it again. So first we got the man who will basically compete with you and try to make you um, oops, make you give up your power. Then you'll find a man who will compete with you to try and be better than you, to show he's better than you, but not to knock you down, just to be better than you. And thirdly, you'll find a man who's going to be acquiescing, polite, nice and wonderful, which is what I was doing, so I know it so well, so that you could have your freedom. This is the thing. None of these work. And the reason why it doesn't work, ladies, is because what you're doing, I suspect, is you're putting on your masculine suit to go to work, and then when you're in a relationship, you don't take it off. 
So you're putting on the masculine way of being, the masculine way of doing things, the masculine way of thinking, of operating and functioning. And then when you're with a man, you don't turn that off. And so what happens is he doesn't have, a, he doesn't have the space, the capability, the room to step up to be that honorable gentleman that you want. Now, at the same time, I want to be clear about this, you don't want to give away your power so that a man overrides you. That's not what I'm recommending here. What I'm actually recommending is that when you step in, when I talk about the masculine family and work, and I go deeper in this in my coaching, when you start to recognize your true power, authority, and dignity in your feminine, you can relax the masculine grip on the way of doing things. You can start having a much healthier opportunity to relate, to connect, and be with a man who's in his masculine. The reality is when you're in your feminine, it attracts men in their masculine. It's almost like a, um, it's like magnets. The polar opposite, you know, North and South Pole magnets attract to each other because of the polarity that's there. Same is true with masculine and feminine energy. And when it's adopted by men and women, because masculine and feminine energy works independent of gender, by the way, when you have that polarity, it causes attraction. But the thing is when you're out dating, a lot of it's done visually because men are very visual. And if you're still in your masculine when you're with him, He's going to be a thing like this with you, and it's going, to be a comp- it's going to be competitive energy. It won't be healthy. When you recognize that your true gifts, and this is the work I do with my clients, even though I'm a man working with women, when I hold the space in the masculine for women, they feel the feminine energy, and they feel they can be in that space. Stuff can happen. Hi, Gina. Nice to see you. Um, so the shift is when you move into your feminine, the sun's moving, so I'm going to move my head out of the sun so I don't get blinded. Let me do this. Okay. So when you're in your... Um, hi. <laughs> Trust me, you can see my broadcast. You can hear me, okay? So my point, bottom line, I want to summarize this because my food's getting cold, so I'm going to go back in and join all the other Facebook Live family people. Um, we're back at the same restaurant again, which is why it's background noise. So when you're in your feminine, ladies, is where you can attract a healthy masculine man. It doesn't mean being soft. It doesn't mean being weak. It actually means being more powerful than you are in your masculine. I'm going to keep it short to give you some C's to think about because, frankly, it's a much deeper conversation I can do in this quick talk. If you want to find out more, I'm going to put some links in the comments. You can reach out to me. Um, good to see you too. And we're back at, so back at True Life Kitchen. Heidi's in town. So it's like the same reunion. It's like Michelle and um, her mum and, and her sister. And uh, there's eight of us. And I'm the only guy. Oh, dear. So that's why I want to get back inside too. <laughs> so to summarize, if you want to find out more about how to be in your feminine and you wonder about how your relationships are screwing up or challenged or not working out, please reach out to me. I'm going to put a link in the comments to have a conversation with me so we can talk. The sun keeps moving so I keep moving the camera. And you can get the help you need. So link in the comments for a discovery session with me. I'll put a link in the comments for my book as well. And I'm inviting you to look at how you can be more feminine in romance. Maybe not be in business. Um, yes, I know. Lucky me. Yeah, thank you, Gina. <laughs> so you can basically, you can, this, this sun is, I definitely picked the wrong spot. <laughs> If you're having challenges understanding how this works, reach out to me. That's simple. Link me in the comments to reach out for a conversation with me. It's called, it'll be a chat with me. And we can talk about stuff. And you can see where you're going, what you need, and we can get it there. You can get my calendar. We can talk. My book's there to give you some stand treatings because my book includes stuff about masculine and feminine as well as healthy relationships. Um, those two will be in the comments. Those will be in the comments. And ladies, if you're stuck with relationship choices that aren't working, I'll put a link in the comments for my Attract the Man You Want program because that program will challenge, rock you, and create the life you want with a man. There you go. Um, this is my Facebook Live, by the way. I do it every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. This normally is in a much quieter environment than this background noise that's going on. So I normally do this at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page. I keep moving around to avoid the light that keeps moving. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't seen me before, you join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. The replays go to my business page, which is Barry Selby the author. And then I also put them on YouTube. So I like my page on Facebook. Or better yet, watch me on YouTube. So all my replays are there, which is my YouTube channel is Barry Silver. You can subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine where all of these live. Again, links will be in the comments for my book, this conversation with me, and my Attract the Man You Want program. It's a guided program you can use. It also comes with coaching if you want it. I highly recommend it. I recommend all my stuff. It works. And uh, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, join me tomorrow. Another topic, probably being a bit more of a well-lit environment versus blinded environment and uh, I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you being with me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.